<laughs> I'm having a good day. Welcome to our first Overwatch guide. The entire community lost their shit about a day ago, as Overwatch kind of unexpectedly announced the new hero that has been hyped up since the start of the game. Of course, we're talking about Doomfist. In today's video, we'll take a look at who Doomfist is, what his story is, what his statistics and abilities are, and we're going really in depth on that, and how he plays. So let's get into it. Doomfist, better known as Akande Ugondimu, or the successor, is the third carrier of the Doomfist. He's a 45 year old Nigerian mercenary that has one of the seats of the Council of Talon, the evil organization that opposes Overwatch. He was born into a well regarded Nigerian family. In his youth, he helped expanding his family's business and was busy with training in martial arts. During the Omnic Crisis, he lost his right arm, but his company's cybernetic prosthetics allowed him to recover and make him even stronger. Then he met the second Doomfist, the Scourge, or Akinjide Adiemi, who offered to partner up and even introduce him to the Talon organization. When Talon decided Akande was more useful, he killed his teacher and took up the Doomfist. Ready to wage war, he was finally defeated by Winston and put into prison. But as we all know, he broke out, stole the Doomfist in Numbani and is back for more. Let's quickly move on to his statistics and abilities. Doomfist is classed as an offensive hero, but is easily more tankier than most of the other offensive heroes. His base health resides at 250 HP, but this can be greatly increased with his passive ability. But that's for later in the video. His primary weapon is called the Hand Cannon. He has three abilities that make Doomfist Doomfist. They're called Rising Uppercut, Seismic Slam and Rocket Punch. Like we mentioned, he also has a passive ability called the Best Defense. And of course, the Big Bad Ultimate is called Meteor Strike. We're going in depth on each of these abilities to show you all of the statistics behind them and the most efficient way to use them. We'll start with his primary weapon, his hand cannon. This allows him to fire a short range burst from the knuckles of his left fist. It deals a base damage of 62.5 damage, no matter the range. But keep in mind that due to the widespread, you won't hit all of the 6 pellets. It can be regarded as a shotgun. When landing a headshot, it deals 137.5 damage, meaning you can two shot most of the squishier targets. With or without headshots, it will take 2 to 4 shots for the heroes, up to 250 health. Its initial rate of fire is 46 rounds per minute, but after 4 rounds you will run out and your ammo will slowly recharge. If you keep shooting, the rate of fire will go down to 18 rounds per minute. The other option is to let it recharge, which takes just over 3 seconds. Moving on to his primary ability. Doomfist can use Rising Uppercut. It makes him uppercut any enemies that are in front of him into the air. This only deals 50 damage as it isn't primarily used for offense, but more to start a chain of attacks. When uppercutting, you and your target will rise 5 meters vertically and travel 5 meters horizontally, meaning that it also can be used for traversal of the map, especially when combined with his other abilities. And that brings us to his second ability, Seismic Slam. This makes Doomfist leap forward and smash into the ground, knocking nearby enemies towards him. It means that your opponent can't escape and is very vulnerable at that moment. Similar to Rising Uppercut, it only deals 50 damage as it works in a similar fashion. Any targets that are in front of you within 9 meters can be hit, and the slam creates a cone-like radius which will hit anybody within 8 meters. Due to the large range, it can be used well for traversal of the map, especially when combined with Rising Uppercut. His third ability, or secondary weapon, depending on what you want to call it, is called Rocket Punch. Doomfist lunges forward and knocks back enemies that are in front of him. It can be charged up, making it extra lethal. Depending on the charge, it can deal between 50 and 100 damage. When you knock enemies into a wall, it will deal additional damage. The range of the attack is between 12 and 20 meters and it can knock an enemy 3 to 10 meters back. Due to the immense range, it can be excellently combined with Rising Uppercut for traversal of the map. 
Depending on elevation, you can travel up to 40 meters, which is insane. On to his passive ability, the best defense. When hitting an enemy by using any of the abilities we mentioned earlier, you generate a temporary shield. This effect can be stacked, adding an additional 150 health when done right. This brings you up to a total health of 400 HP. But we saved the best part for last. Of course, we're talking about his ultimate, Meteor Strike. Upon activation, Doomfist launches into the air and can come down with enormous force to crush any enemies beneath him. It deals 125 damage at the edges of the 50 meter radius, but can instantly kill any hero by direct. It takes a short while between pressing the button and actually crashing down, in combination with the fact that the enemies can see the outline, make it a little harder to use. But still, it's very powerful. It can be used to completely wipe the enemy team when done right. Combine it with the Graviton Surge or Earth Shatter for maximum effect. And that's it for Doomfist. He essentially plays like a tankier more up in your face Genji due to all the movement abilities and his shotgun glove. Let us know what you think about him and his abilities. Personally, I'm pretty excited and he looks like a legend. So we're definitely gonna play him. Anyways, thanks for watching. Consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video or a dislike if you didn't. In either case, leave us some constructive feedback on the video, art style, commentary and content. In case you want to stay updated, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell for instant pop-ups when we upload. If you have any questions, want to share your ideas or if you simply want to start a discussion, let us know in the comment section down below. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll hopefully see you in the next video.